Uh, hello, I think this is on. Test, test. Can you hear me okay? Hi, kittens. Oh, hang on, I forgot something. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I'm late. How did that happen? Time flies. Wow. Okay. Hopefully you can hear me, even though you can't see me yet. I forgot to grab our little box of tools. Hi, buddy. Hi, everybody. All right, I'm here for real this time. I hope. Uh, I'm going to sit right here on the floor with these kittens. Oh, with these stinky, stinky kittens. My goodness. All right, I think we're having a little bit of an adjustment period getting used to all the food that I've been putting out for them. Uh, and uh, they're having a little bit of the bad poops. And very smelly ones as well. All right, let's just make sure you guys aren't bringing more poop on me. Good. All right, let me check with Discord and make sure that... Hi, buddy. Hi, let me make sure I'm audible. And also, let's turn this camera I can a little bit. Maybe I'll zoom in the other camera. This is going to be a very short mailbag. Um, there's not very much mail today. There we go. I think you guys can hear me. Good. We got that going for us, which is nice. Um, this week, these kids all went to the vet for their very first checkup, and it went fantastically. Um, they're all very healthy, according to the vet. We are having, uh, you know, a couple issues related to weaning, but nothing that's unusual. So that's all good. All right, we're just going to zoom in a little bit here. I don't want to zoom in too much because... If they start running around, I want that to be visible. <clears throat> so they went to the vet. They had their first vaccines. Uh, went very well. And uh, let's see. The only other news is that tomorrow around noon is when Serenity is going to be adopted. Picked up by her adopter, I should say. And uh, that's, that's special. That's been a long time coming. And uh, Serenity has been a wonderful cat that started in, in this room right here uh, for a long time when we thought that she was going to be a mom cat for a while. Uh, so it's good to see her finally find somebody that's exact. I think the perfect match for her. So um, that's going to be wonderful. Now we just have to take care of Till and uh, Sprizzle the same way. So uh, hopefully that will be coming before too long. So as I was saying, today's going to be a very short mailbag. I went to the post office this morning, um, and there was just a handful of mail, uh, which is nice. You know, I'm not I'm not complaining about that. I think it's perfect. Um, I think a lot of times you guys do way too much for us and for these kittens. So uh, I think it's great. I just want to mention, though, for anybody that maybe sent something and is like, I know it's there. What happened? Uh, there's a chance that the guy that helped me this morning at the post office didn't necessarily look for everything. Um, you know, and I, I said, you know, this is it. Is this it? Um, and he said, yeah. So I'm not going to push it any further than that. Um, it, it's fine. Um, if there was anything that I didn't get today for some reason, I'm sure it will be there next week. So uh, I wouldn't panic. If you, you sent something and it's not here, I wouldn't panic yet anyway. Um, or panic. I don't, you know, it's, I don't tell you what to do. Uh, you don't have to listen to me. I'm not your real dad. So uh, that is, uh, that's it, I think, for news. We got uh, Sprouts, uh, I'm sorry, we got Serenity's adoption. These kids went to the vet. Everybody's doing great. Uh, that's about it, I guess. Everybody's doing great with some very stinky bad poops. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So, uh, with all that out of the way then, let's jump into the mail part of Mailbag. I've got four letters here, but two of them may not even really be all that relevant. Uh, let's start with those just to get them out of the way. Uh, these are from uh, an animal shelter. This one is addressed to DJ and I. So, let's see. I'm trying to get this out of here and it's kind of stuck. Okay, there we go. 
Aw, it's so cute. A photograph of an orange kitty and a dog wearing a scarf. It says, peace, love, and hope. I'm trying to show it to this camera, too. Let me see how that looks real quick. Let's just check. Uh, how does that look? I don't know yet. Try again. Yeah, kind of. Is that going to be in focus if I do that? Oh, uh, there is kind of some news that's like tech news, which is that I got uh, two new cameras that are the floor cameras. And uh, I like them so much, I ordered two more that are uh, on order for more floor cameras. I think putting floor cameras everywhere is a great idea. Um, and then I also have put out a new, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, one of these cameras <laughs> uh, in the next room, and it's not working right, uh, which is a shame because I think I mentioned before, I already have two more of that same model ready to go because I thought it was working. I'll try to work it out today. We'll see. I, th I think it's going to work. So this says, oh, this is so cute. Okay, I don't want everybody to see. Um, this is from uh, a thoughtful gift was made on January 3rd from me, she, in honor of Kitten Academy. A little bit for the best cause. No more homeless pets in 2025. Congrats to Lecturer Teaspoon and love to all at KA. Aw, that's really sweet. So thank you. It's Best Friends Animal Society um, in uh, Utah, I believe, according to the return address. Yes, in Utah. So uh, Best Friends Animal Society. That's wonderful. And then this one, I think, has got to be um, actually not for us. I think this is Mishi's sort of receipt that also went to our address, perhaps. Yes, that's exactly what happened. So... Uh, Mishi, thanks so much for that. As I stop eating that, for crying out loud, buddy. Uh, you know better, Greg. You know better. I'll tell you what. Let me head next door real quick and just grab something. Uh, you guys can continue to hear me, I'm sure, as I go. Uh, I'm just going to get a little dustpan and broom so that I can clean up the mess. Greg's over there chewing on litter and poop. Uh, he, at this point, come on. He should know not to do that. So uh, here we go. I got a litter uh, dustpan. I'm just going to come right back in here. And uh, do you want to go out? I think you can go out. Sure. Why not? She gets along with everybody. So uh, I've actually let her spend a little time hanging out with Maggie, too, to make sure that that would be okay. And she's, uh, she really just gets along. Oh, kids, what a mess. Did you do all that? Okay. Monday, stop. Monday's also in the litter box, eating litter in the box. Oh, now he's going to dig. Okay. But he's got a litter. His nose is covered in litter. Oh, kids. Why? Why, huh? Okay, here we are again. Uh, Mishi, thank you so much. I think I was in the middle of saying something about how um, much like what I said about mailbag, like, you know, uh, everyone takes such good care of us, and uh, I know we're not uh, the only people working to help out cats and kittens, so I think it's wonderful when, um, you know, anyone donates to anyone working in that uh, cause, or any other cause, really. I mean, um, it's, uh, it's great to see uh, people taking care of each other, I think. That's uh, fantastic. So... Uh, thank you for that, and it's very nice of you to do it uh, sort of on our behalf, too. Uh, speaking of which, I think we have another one like that. This comes from a Furry Tales cat rescue in Ontario, uh, Canada. And let's see, this one has a cute card that has uh, like a pastel uh, abstract tree on it, I would say. That's how I would describe that anyway. Inside, oh, so cute. Oh, wow, they put in a photo of a particular kitten named Eclipse that looks like a, a cute little gray and white. And it says, a donation's been made in honor of Kitten Academy to Furry Tails Cat Rescue in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And it says, from Rebecca. Thank you for all the hard work you are doing to res in your area to rescue and find homes for the cats and kittens that find their way to you, wishing you all the best in 2024 from all of us at Furry Tales Cat Rescue, Felines, and Humans. Uh, that's very cute and personal. Um, that's, a, that's a very nice little personal... Uh, the whole thing is written out, and it must have been fun for them to uh, 
get a chance to write a note to someone else who's also working on um, animal rescue. I, I hate saying animal rescue. I just, I, that's, you very rarely hear me say that about ourselves, even though technically, you know, that's what we're doing. So I guess it counts. But it, uh, first off, it sounds so pretentious for what we're doing. It sounds just a little bit like over the top. And uh, secondly, uh, you know, the rescue part is a little bit, uh, I don't know. So anyway, uh, this might be a late Christmas card just based on the fact that it's opening from the side. That's not a normal card thing to do, or it may not be. Let's see, what is this? Um, I felt like that was thick. Okay, it's just nice paper. This is so cute. Look at this guy. His uh, little cat wearing like a suit, a corduroy suit, and uh, holding some little flowers that are um, uh, poppies, maybe? Hard to say, little red flowers. Uh, really cute painting, though. Wow. And on the back, it says, oh, man, you guys are so stink. That's not what it says. These, these guys are in the litter box, and they've been chosen now to make all the stink they possibly can. My nose hairs are actually burning. Um, Okay, it says, hello, happy, <coughs> oh, oh man, what are you doing in there? Uh, Greg, buddy, let's make sure that you don't have anything that needs to be cleaned up. Well, okay, good, well, you've gotten better at that. You used to come out of the litter box very dirty when you were just a couple weeks younger. Okay, let me try to start over. Uh, it says, hello, happy new year, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. My husband, Chris, and I are KA fans. We just wanted to wish you both a fantastic year ahead. We are beyond delighted that Teaspoon will become faculty. All the best from Chris and Jen in Ottawa. Thank you guys very much. This is the cutest little guy. I'm going to have to show this to DJ because that's just adorable. Um, uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, if you just excuse me for one second, I want to try to clean up this litter box before they continue to get in here and step in whatever they got. Actually, this looks like it's mostly uh, decent over here, but it's not going to stop me from getting it out. Somebody had a bad poop, but just one. The rest look like good poops. I know you guys really want to know that, don't you? It's fine. What else am I going to tell you about? It's very important, you know, uh, to, to keep an eye on your cat or kitten's uh, poops and litter box habits and eating. That's the, usually the first sign of something that, uh, you know, you need to take care of. So uh, very important stuff. Something we monitor very closely for the little kittens. I know. Okay, Fry. All right, so that brings us to the package portion of today's show. And uh, again, it's going to be a very brief one because we have four packages. I believe they're all basically drop shipped items. Uh, so it's going to go quick. And uh, this says, yes, just like it says on the outside of the box, we have a box of springs. But I don't think there's going to be a note in here. And I don't think the outside gives us any clue either. It's just addressed to Kitten Academy. Which is fine. If anybody wants to take credit for it, please do. Uh, these are the typical cat toy springs, though, which are just great for endowments and for everything else. Um, springs have been just one of the favorite things forever. These little plastic springs for the kittens. Uh, and I keep a giant bag of them in the bedroom now because Teaspoon has discovered that he likes playing with springs. And I should say Drizzle also uh, has started playing fetch with springs in particular. Uh, but they get lost so easily. Like they just vanish. Someday when we move out of here and take all of our furniture and stuff out, uh, we're just going to find like all the springs in the world, I'm sure. But uh, meanwhile, they're sort of disposable toys, which is fine. I also step on them. They get bent and they're plastic and they don't last forever. So it's good to have extra. It's also great to put in endowments. So thank you to whomever sent the springs. A real classic, great toy for these kids. All right, buddy, you want to open this one Monday? Monday's sniffing at this one, so let's take a look at this next. This one is also just addressed to Kitten Academy, but this one might have a note. Ooh, oh, I haven't seen these in a while. This is going to be fun. 
Dear K.A., we sent the teaspoon blanket and we're so happy you love it. Aw, well, that's from Chris and Courtney. And uh, you mean the teaspoon blanket that had his name on it that uh, DJ has put on our bed and has been, I think it's still there, though I don't think it's been taken away to wash yet. But uh, she's been, I mean, it's right on her side of the bed and it has been since we got it. And it's very cute and all the kittens are sleeping on it. So... Uh, these collars are for the kittens or Callie. Oh, collars. Let's see. That must be what's in this box. Uh, I'm going to need a knife for this. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, man. I'm so glad you guys cannot smell this room right now. Which knife? There we go. Okay, let's see these collars. Um, the note says the collars are for the kittens or Callie. Some, and then the other thing uh, that I said, oh, I haven't seen this in a while. Oh, these are cute. We've got their fruit. There's a strawberry, orange, um, watermelon, and a pineapple. And they are, uh, they have bells. They have the right kind of clasp on them. Uh, and they all have little bow ties on them as well, which is always a cute thing. Um, that's fantastic. These might be a little big for the kittens, though. I know I say this uh, whenever anybody sends collars. Kitten necks are way smaller than anybody would imagine. In fact, even the collars that are sold as collars for kittens, they usually mean kittens that are like, you know, six months to a year old, not what we have. Uh, and they usually would not fit these kittens uh, anyway, which is why um, uh, the underscore kitten sent us so many custom made kitten collars long ago that we are going to have uh, forever that it just can go through. Um, I wanted to illustrate it real quick. I just pulled out this strawberry one to see if I can set it on its very smallest setting and uh, still see how big it is compared to one of these kittens. Now, um, Sprout and Drizzle and Cal uh, not Callie, uh, Sprout and Drizzle and um, Till all have uh, their own like regular sized collars that they fit into now uh, because they are all old, older than six months. Um, but let's see, these kids, um, they go home at about three months, uh, still would not fit uh, probably, but that doesn't mean we couldn't send them with endowments or, uh, you know, there we go. Okay, that's the very smallest setting right there, and I think you can see it would probably fit. Or, oh, this is a different kind of clasp that comes off. I like it. It seems like a good one. Uh, if I can even get it to clasp. There we go. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a little stronger than I would like. So, uh, as you can see, uh, we could just slip it right over because <laughs> it's so, so much bigger. Oh, that's adorable, though. Look how cute that guy is. This is Fry, Friday. Okay, Friday, thank you for being our model. Okay, there you go, pal. Um, so, Cali, though, could probably wear one just fine. I bet she would love it and look very good in it. And the other ones could be wonderful for endowments or for future mom cats if they need them. So thank you very much for sending those. But I didn't mention the thing that I was excited that we haven't seen in a while. Uh, you say also, by the way, okay, so this is some fun catnip bubbles. Thank you so much for giving these kitties a home from Chris and Courtney in Massachusetts. All right, Chris and Courtney in Massachusetts, thank you. I've got to open these right now because, you know, it's a small mailbag. We've only got two packages left and they're going to go quickly. Let's just try this right now and see what these kids think of it. Hang on. Let me make sure that that camera is pointed far enough this way to get it if they, uh, if they all go that way too far. Let's see. Uh, we can get it to go just a little more. There we go. Don't look at the litter box, okay? Just cover that part of the screen with your finger. Okay. Oh, uh, really? Okay, safe fun for pets and kids, but these are the kind that are not the regular bubbles. These are the kind that are um, like a, a gel that sticks around for a while, lasts for hours. Yeah, I don't know about that. 
Uh, I wish it would say the ingredients because it does say how safe it is for pets specifically, so I guess it must be. All right. Well, let's just do one real quick and see what it's like anyway. Here we go. I can tell from how viscous it is that this is the kind that is not the regular bubbles. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, they're very tiny too. Look at that. What do you guys think? They don't even notice. They're still at the age where it's a little hard for them to track um, things. So, as you can see, these are the kind that stick around. They've mostly landed on me because this must be the way the air in the room is going. And uh, that's going to be a fun little cleanup project. Okay, that's fun. Uh, they're sticky too. Oh, goodness. Okay, I really would like to look up how these things are made. Uh, out of curiosity as much as anything else. But you can see now I've got this uh, like sticky, uh, you know, maybe you can't see, film. <laughs> there you go, you see what I mean. It's not the regular uh, like soap bubbles that we're used to. It's cute though, and the kittens, uh, as far as they can see them, are interested. It's good practice for them to be able to um, track uh, like objects. It's it's uh, something that can be tricky for younger cats to, to learn, um, especially the ones that play fetch, like with uh, Drizzle. Uh, she's learned to sort of anticipate where I'm going to throw something or to listen for the sound of that thing hitting, like the springs when they hit the wall or the floor, that's where she goes. But she's not always that good at like watching my hand to see which way I'm throwing it. Uh, that's just an advanced thing for cats to figure out. Of course, at this age, they just have trouble sort of tracking stuff at all. But, uh, you know, it's, it's practice for them. So thank you for the cat and bubbles. Those are fun. Um, I'm actually going to put those right in here because they fit. Okay. Let's see now. Uh, Chris and Courtney, that was. And these I'm going to set right there. And we got our springs that can go right there. Okay. Next up, another just addressed to Kitten Academy. Oh, these pull strings, they very rarely work. Okay, Ooh, what is this all about? Oh, that's interesting. Familiar. Very familiar. Uh, did we figure this out last week? Because there's not a note in here either, but somebody sent us these towels, these uh, cat towels, and now there's enough of them that have arrived that I'm thinking they weren't for us after all. They were probably for endowments, um, but it's hard to say. Anyway, they're very cute, and you might have even seen Sprout was extremely freaked out by them during last week's mailbag, because they've got these strangely realistic faces. But they are hand towels. This part's sort of towel-y, uh, like a microfiber thing, and they've got these little paws and buttons so you can put them over your towel rack or towel bar and clip them on there so they just stay, which is really nice. And I put four of them out in our kitchen, uh, sort of presuming that these were for us, not for endowments. But now that we have six of them, it's starting to get to the point where I'm like, ooh, these may be not for us after all. Um, I I'm not, don't know if I ever heard from whoever sent them, though, or not. Uh, I'm not sure. So I'll have to follow up on that. I'm not going to try to get that back in the bag. That would be too awkward. So we have this one, and we have an orange uh, and white striped one here. I think you can see how that would look. They're very cute, and uh, there's still two of them hanging in the kitchen. I took the other two uh, to wash. Um, and uh, I think you guys might have seen the video I tried to get when Sprout when Sprout saw them during last during last week's mailbag when I first opened was it just last week I think it was when I first opened them uh, she saw them and was freaked out and I didn't know it at first and I moved one just a little bit and she jumped like oh my gosh it's coming for me uh, and that's when I realized that she thought it was really freaky. Um, and then later, I hung them up in the in the kitchen, and she walked into the kitchen and saw them and was just staring at them with her eyes like wide, and then she slowly was starting to creep up on them. Um, it was really weird, and then she got all the way up to one and reached up and touched it, and it, it wasn't moving, and she's like, okay, I think this is okay. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was pretty silly, actually, but uh, for some reason, very creepy hand towels. Uh, at least if you're a sprout. So, okay, one last package then. Wow, this was a, an, a record short mailbag, I think. And this one may have a note. 
this note says, Serenity. Oh, just in time. Serenity, I hope you are able to enjoy these at your forever home. So happy to hear you're going to such a meowless adopter from Frozen Tundra Crew. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. These are nice pet pizzazz. These are felted balls, and they're really cool. Oh, man. Let me, uh, I'm just going to take one out so we can see it, because this is a little hard to see. I'm going to try to take one out. Uh, this is not working. Okay. We're just going to do it this way. <laughs> These are really wrapped up in here. Okay, there we go. All right. Look at that. So these are uh, six felted balls, and they're this really pretty sort of teal color with a green stripe all the way through. They're solid. They're uh, perfectly round. And you probably have seen Serenity loves to chase a ball around her room and throw it and bat it around. And these are great. Uh, she is going to love these one way or the other. I'm sure she will. Perfect little gift for Serenity to take home with her. It says, oh, 100% wool. It says dryer balls. Okay, sure. Um, it also says Nepal, New Zealand, USA. I don't know why those three are put together that way. Hard to imagine. Uh, but uh, they're, they're perfect. That's going to be great for her. And let me write her name on this so that I know to put it in her endowments, which are mostly sorted from a long time ago, although I should probably find a way to go through everything and find whatever's shown up. On the other, other hand, her adopter is local so uh, and also volunteers sometimes for Dawes, or has in the past and probably will again once Dawes finally gets a, a new home. They've been working on that for a while. Um, so uh, I feel like if things do come in late, um, that might be something a little bit easier for me to manage too. So that was mailbag. I don't even have to tell you guys that I'm going to clean this stuff up and then come back because I can carry it all out at once. Um, which works out, I think. It really does. Okay, somebody's very stinky. You don't have much litter on you. Somebody's also over there. It must be Monday. My goodness. Well, uh, that was Mailbag. It was short. I hope everybody enjoyed it nonetheless. I certainly did. I think it's a perfect size of Mailbag. Um, but, like I said, if you sent something and you're like, well, where is it? there's a chance that uh, maybe the post office didn't check so carefully this week to see if everything was there. Um, and if that's the case, it'll turn up next week. Uh, I wouldn't panic about it, um, which might also um, combine nicely with what I was just saying about Serenity um, and the fact that if, if something comes in late for her, I think it will probably be easy to get to her adopter one way or the other. So... There you have it. Okay, you guys are all enjoying playing with this little tiny piece of paper, but I'm going to take it away. And um, oh, uh, since starting a close-up, uh, oh, Will, and I was just going to try to show you um, Julian here in the top of this thing, falling asleep, sitting up with his chin on the edge, but then he must have heard me or understood what I was getting at because he got up. Very cute, though. I'm just going to fall asleep sitting up. What are you thinking, Julie? Hey, bud. Hey, yes, you talk a lot. I think you're the most talky of the whole group, aren't you? Okay, you guys. All right. Uh-huh. Well, okay, that's mailbag. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> If you want to keep watching, you can keep watching, but I'm going to end the recording here. Or try to. There we go. Brief. Just the way we like it. Let me switch the mix back to here. Serenity's pretty active right now next door, I see, and I'm trying to think where Maggie is right now. I think Maggie's out around the house, and so actually Serenity hasn't had any conflict with anybody because she just avoids everybody so strongly. 
Except, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I know I've mentioned it at least once. Eddie um, has been chasing Serenity around the house. Way out of character for Eddie. I've never seen him do that with anybody. Um, and I think, I have thought that it was all in good play between them. Although last night, Serenity came into the bedroom and got up on top of our tall dresser that's in there. And then Eddie got up on the cat tree right next to it. The only way to access the top of the dresser is to climb up this cat tree. It's just too tall and away from anything else. So he basically blocked her only way down. And she was angry about it and had to wait until he decided to go away. And he was very being very deliberate about doing it like at her. Like he was watching her and sitting there. And like it was not an accident. He wasn't just there coincidentally. Um, so I don't know, like if it was entirely play for either of them at that point, or if he really like had uh, an axe to grind. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so out of character for Eddie. Um, obviously, he's not going to cause any real trouble. And uh, the thing about Serenity is that she is so good at avoiding the conflict. Uh, she just she just runs away and um, hisses a lot. Uh, she'll hiss at anybody from a distance. If you, if you get within three feet of her and you're a cat, there's going to be a hiss. So uh, I think it's perfect that she's going to an adopter that um, hasn't got Eddie and, and hasn't got any other cats. I think she could live with another cat, like I've said, because they would never encounter each other. She would just always be running away and avoiding them. Uh, so, uh, you know, which in a lot of cases, that's as good as you can ask for. All right. I got to get up, kid. Okay, I got to see what's going on. I got to see where Maggie is. Maybe let Serenity out of her room. I got to show this cute thing to DJ. So, I know, I know. These guys have all become such lap kittens, too. Even when I'm not here, they all want to sit in the beanbag chair because they know that's my spot. Uh, it's very cute. But I've been coming in here and sitting with them and playing video games to get them socialized. And uh, it's been it's been fun. They all like to climb up on my lap, which is nice because at first I, I had a real struggle with that. Like I was complaining to DJ the other day that especially Julian would not sit on me to save his life. I would put him on my lap over and over and over. And as soon as I would put him on my lap he, and he would realize that he would like if he was sleeping and I tried to sneaky put him on my lap so that he could just continue sleeping. So the minute he woke up and realized where he was, he would run away. Like, he just would not have it. Um, but it seems like, you know, everything changes at this age real fast. So now they are all lap cats. Though I would say Julian is still the one that is, like, the most, like, over on the edge. Hey, buddy. Okay. I'll be right back to get that stuff.
Blocking the road. Not if you want, let's see. 